pregame.com. We have the Red River rivalry featuring two brand new head coaches for the first time since 1947. This is Brad Bowers in the pregame.com studios just off the Vegas trip. We got a great college football rivalry, one of the best in all of college football in the Big 12. Oklahoma at Texas down in the Cotton Bowl. And a Big 12 race that is suddenly wide open. Who do you like? Actually, you're going to pass on the side for now. We're going to take the under. That's right. We're taking under 65. Main reason for me is all about this Texas defense showing so much improvement. Everyone goes back to the season opener, that isolated early game. Everyone watched them. Maryland pulls the outright upset. Texas's defense gives up 51 points in that game. Well, since that time, Texas's defense has been among the best in the country. They've only allowed 66 rushing yards per game the last four, 53% completion percentage from their opposing quarterbacks, and how about only six touchdown passes with seven interceptions? Texas, the last four games, has played an elite level, but we get value because everyone remembers them giving up 51 points in the opener. Add it all up, under is the pick. And in the last four games, two of them were overtime games, so that is certainly skewing a lot of those defensive stats as they're giving up more points and more yardage than they really have during regulation time. Absolutely hidden value. Not only a pair of overtime games, a pair of double overtime games skewing their stats, points allowed. And I go back to that USC game. USC is known as one of the better offenses in college football. They only allowed 17 points in regulation to USC. This is a legitimate Texas defense. Let's talk side briefly here. Obviously, Oklahoma, just a very, very disappointing performance. Arguably the biggest upset in terms of college football that we're going to see all year long. Uh, how are they going to react? Who do you like on the side? Well, you know, as far as the side goes, l let's t talk the last four years of this rivalry because it's been the opposite. Coming into it each last four years, it's, oh, can Texas save Charlie Strong's job? I mean, they're having a disastrous season. They're off an upset loss. They need a big performance. And Texas has performed well. They, they played with a chip on their shoulder. They covered four straight, pulled a couple of outright uh, upsets as a double-digit favorite as a double-digit underdog. Well, in this instance, this week, everyone's saying, hey, these programs are going in opposite directions. Texas is ascending. Oklahoma's descending. Everyone's throwing Oklahoma in the trash. That would have me leaning towards Oklahoma being the right side here. Your second key handicap. Well, let's talk about Oklahoma and that defense. Absolute embarrassment last week. To a third-string quarterback, you're allowing 38 points and over 300 yards. I think they play with a much better effort and a much better focus. And I'll use the example of the Ohio State game. At least they've proven at one game this year that they can play competent defense and even maybe even above average defense. Yeah, I'm kind of torn on this one because high stakes rivalry game, I always look to the under in cases like that. But I, my concern is that game against Ohio State, the Oklahoma defense was very good. Wasn't that more about Ohio State's offense not being ready to start the season than Oklahoma's defense? That's a great point. And look, we can question the Ohio State play calling. I think legitimately we should. But I also watched that game, and Oklahoma was flying around the football. They're getting pressure on JT Barrett. I haven't seen that Oklahoma defense in the last three games. I expect with a rivalry game and coming off an embarrassing effort, again, much better effort, much better focus. I think you'll see the Oklahoma defense that we saw in the Ohio State game compared to last week's Iowa State game. No question. We are going to get Oklahoma's defense's B game, <laughs> and that should be enough to get this one under. Let's make it official. Yeah, let's make this official. We're going under 65 in Oklahoma, Texas. Texas's defense much improved since allowing 51 points in the opener. The reality is, in the last four games, this is a top 20 caliber defense. And on the other side, Oklahoma's defense totally embarrassed last Last week losing outright to Iowa State this week I expect a much better effort much better focus and they have at least proven in one game this year against Ohio State that they can play average to above average defense add it all up under 65 in the Red River rivalry more videos at pregame.com